Well, a good Saturday to you. Thanks for finding us here at Fox 26. I'm meteorologist John Dawson. This is your tropical update. Get to spend a little more time talking about whatever's going on out in the Atlantic Basin. And there are some things to focus on, although there's nothing uh, immediate or uh, happening or about to happen. We just got a couple areas that we're going to watch and kind of keep an eye on some a little bit more tropical than others, but we'll talk about it here because it's kind of sort of tropical in nature as far as what we're looking at. Let me start by saying that overall the Caribbean remains quiet. And again, I know we've got a lot of folks who check in with us on YouTube who are in the Caribbean. And so I just want to make sure you guys know right away. We're glad you're watching. We're glad you're checking in and more good news that it's quiet again for the next seven days or so. It looks like there is a little bit of semi tropical activity in the Gulf. Not really tropical, but it's something that the Hurricane Center at least is pointing out and identifying. So we'll do that as well. But the main area that we need to talk about is this large orange shading here where there is a tropical wave uh, just coming off of the coast or just off of the, already off the coast of Africa and giving it a couple more days. It gets into this orange shaded area and it could develop into something tropical. And I, I do need to uh, update this graphic. Our, our two days is not a medium chance. It's a 10% chance, which is a low chance. So Sorry on my incorrection there. This is or this is incorrect information on the two days. It's 10% with a low chance. Our seven days though is that 60% chance, which the hurricane considers a medium chance of developing to a tropical. And I think that's pretty, uh, pretty confident that we would see it. Giving us a, cute, a few more days, I expect to see that number to continue to rise. It was actually 50% this morning. Again, now 60%. That's going to keep going up. And so somewhere in this orange shaded area out in the Atlantic, we'll be seeing our next tropical system, whether it be a depression or a named storm. I think that's going to have some pretty decent confidence that that's going to be taking place. So what's happening back into the area of the Gulf as well as the, the Atlantic just to the east of Florida here? We've got a lot of tropical moisture just kind of flowing across the region with some upper level support helping to kind of send this through. And what that means is it's going to be quite a bit of rain for some folks. So we're going to have some coastal concerns as well as some rain right along the east coast of Florida. And there was a couple low pressure systems, one of them over technically in the Atlantic side, one of them over here in the Gulf side. And they're going to kind of more or less merge together where we end up with one low pressure system. System, and it's not going to have enough characteristics to be considered tropical though, but it is going to continue to kind of keep that Gulf moisture flowing and it's going to keep lots of rain possibilities for the folks along the northern Gulf. So this is kind of where we find ourselves moving through the next 24 hours where we'll have that low pressure system continuing to churn away, mainly just kind of keeping this entire northern uh, ghost of the of the Gulf would be the southern coast of the United States just kind of not stable just enough that a little bit of extra energy like daytime heating and afternoon storms are going to be popping up and maybe it doesn't even have to be in the afternoon but we'll be seeing some showers and some storms as I mentioned this is technically not tropical because it doesn't have all the characteristics but we'll call it tropical moisture and the hurricane center certainly identifies that low pressure and just says that they don't expect it to become tropical their wording that they have to keep says it's a, a near zero percent chance that it would become something that is tropical but here's what we're looking on the saturday in the later afternoon hours we see a little bit of that spin of that low pressure and then by the time we get into sunday in the afternoon that low pressure is already kind of come over and beginning to interact with land more and you see those rain chances drop quite a bit as well. So when we look at our rainfall accumulation through, we'll call it Wednesday or so, um, we're definitely going to be seeing some of that rain continuing to focus itself over near Louisiana and as well as Alabama and Mississippi. That's where the heaviest rainfall totals are. If you're back with me over here in the Houston area, we'll be talking about some rain chances, but it'll be very, very manageable overall. And if you were wondering that area out in the Atlantic, should it become something named that next name on the list is 
Jerry. So that's the one we'll be listening for next. And just a quick sort of inter sort of interesting notes here uh, to mention as far as that entire season. Remember, we use this uh, graph quite a bit to sort of show that September the 10th is the peak of the season. But we also stress that it doesn't mean it's the 50% mark. It's just that that's the highest amount of activity. And there's actually 60% of so if you were to look at the the shaded areas here from the 10th moving forward, you would have 60% of the season left. But when you look at October the 1st for the rest of the season, we're only about a quarter of the activity, not the, the length of time, but the activity that we see in that time. It's about 25% of this total activity during the six months. So that's good news. We're finally getting to the last, what we could say, quarter of historically, uh, his, histor historically the, the, the activity that we would see during this time period. That's pretty good news, I think, that we're finally sort of getting to the end. The only thing to note, though, is that this has been a bit of an unusual year, and I think like last year, we're going to kind of be loaded up a little bit with some activity on this back half. Normally in October and November, it would, if you look at the averages, you could expect to have four named storms. So we'll see if we get another four here over the next couple of months. But again, that's what we would expect if we just looked at our historical numbers. We'll add to those totals that we already have. All right, that's going to do it for your Saturday version of the tropical discussion. Make sure you join me back here again. I update these a little bit after 4 p.m. Central Time. We'll see you tomorrow.